so i welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and today our topic is adaptive median filtering up to the last class we have discussed different kinds of filters and their unique characteristics to deal with a particular kind of noise those le lectures are very important for you and i have given the link in the description box go through it if you have not already so now today our main focus will be on this adaptive median filtering you know the median filter performs relatively well on impulse noise as long as the spatial density of the impulse noise is not large you should note down that the median filter works efficiently only when the spatial density of the impulse noise is not large now this ad adaptive median filter can handle much more spatially dense impulse noise and also perform some smoothing for non impulse noise so that this advantage of median filter can be built with this adaptive median filtering as it can handle much more spatially dense impulse noise than median filter and also it performs some smoothing for non impulse noise so first question to you that give me some examples of non impulse noise now the key to understanding this algorithm is to remember that the adaptive median filter has mainly three purposes please write down these three purposes of the adaptive median filtering and they are first of all it remove impulse noise second it provide smoothing of other noise also third it reduce distortion excessive thinning or thickening of object boundaries so these are the three purposes why we have to go for adaptive median filtering okay now in the adaptive median filter the filter size changes depending on the characteristics of the image that's why the term adaptive okay it can adopt new characteristics of the image as well as accordingly it, its size will be changed Now some notations you have to know that S X Y means the support of the filter centered at X Y. Z mean is the minimum gray level in S X Y, and similarly Z X is the maximum gray level, and Z mat is the median of the gray level in S X Y. Then Z X Y is the gray level at coordinates X Y, and S max is the maximum allowed size of what S X Y. Okay, uh, these are the important notations that you have to know. Now, come to the stage. You have to very carefully note down this stage. Okay, now coming to the first stage. Say a one is equal to z mat minus z min, and a two is equal to z mat minus z max. Now, if a one is greater than zero and a two is less than zero. So a a one we have seen that z medium minus z minimum. If this is greater than zero, okay, this means what? Z medium is greater than z min. And if a two is less than zero, means z mat minus z x is less than zero. Then we what we have to do? We have to go to the stage B because if z mat minus z max is less than zero, means z max is of course the maximum of the z median. Okay. If this is True, then we will go to stage B. Otherwise, we will increase the window size. What we will do? We will increase the window size. And if window size is less than is equal to S max, repeat stage A. Else, output Z max. Means what? We will continue increasing the window, but up to what? Up to it is less than or equal to S max. and till then we did not get the required thing that what we will do we will repeat the stage a otherwise what we will do we will output z mat so this is the main steps 
Now coming to the stage B. Stage B says that if B1 is equal to what? Z x y minus z min and b2 is equal to z x y minus z max. So you have seen that z min and z max is the minimum and maximum gray level in the s x y, isn't it? So now if b1 is greater than 0 and b2 is less than 0, then what you will do? You will just output z x y and you know that you have seen that z x y is the gray level, gray value Okay, gray level value at your particular coordinate x, y. And we are comparing our minimum and maximum value to our current that z, x, y value. If z, x, y minus z min is greater than 0, this means our current is greater than z minimum. Then if z, z x, y minus z max is zero, less than 0, means uh, what? z, x, y is less than the maximum value of the gray level then we will output our z x y okay otherwise what we will do we will output the z mat this test is also very important note it down okay now you see that a at our stage a a1 z mat minus z min a2 z mat minus z max and if a1 greater than 0 a2 less than 0 go to stage b and or otherwise we are increasing the window size and if the window size is less than s max then we are repeating the stage a i'm repeating this thing again and else output the z mat that was our stage a so what stage a determines so stage a determines if the output of the median filter z mat is impulse or not so i'm repeating again that stage a in our adaptive median filter determines whether the output of the median filter z mat is impulse or not black or white if it is not impulse then we only go to the stage b then only we go to the stage b if it is an impulse the window size is increased until it reaches s max or z mat is not an impulse so two things, first we have seen that it is at the stage A, it is determining whether the output is impulse or not. If it is not impulse, then we go to the stage B. If it is impulse, we are increasing the window size until it reaches the maximum window size or Z mat is not an impulse. You should know that there is no guarantee that Z mat will not be an impulse. Okay, the medium value itself may be an impulse. Okay, that is not considered in the previous case. Now, in our adaptive median filter case, we are considering that fact also. So, the smaller the density of the noise is, the larger the support S max. And we expect not to have an impulse. Well, now in the stage B, what we are doing? Stage B actually determines if the pixel value at x, y, that is our z, x, y, is an impulse or not. That is black or white. Okay. If it is not impulse, then the algorithm outputs the unsense pixel z, x, y. Okay. Unsense, unsense pixel value z, x, y, because it is not an impulse. But if it is an impulse, then it will output what? the median value z mat that's the fact about the stage b okay note it down so you will see that this is the image corrected by self prepared noise with probability 0 0.25 and this is the result of 7 cross 7 median filter and this is the result of adaptive median filtering with s max is equal to 7 and you will see that the output is quite better than the median one okay so that's the Lexar for today. So you have got two questions from my side. And the last question is that how the adaptive median filter depends on the window size. Do comment your answer. So take care. Bye-bye.